One of the longest continuously running shows in television history is adjusting with the times. After 56 years, this is the last week How about that? that Days of Our Lives will air on NBC. The show is going to be moved to NBC's streaming platform, Peacock. That starts Monday. And believe me, Jen's struggling with I this am. decision. I NBC4 really digital anchor Christine Varconi spoke with an Ohio State media professor about the long history of running soap operas and now the shift in daytime TV programming. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. That iconic opening, no longer a 1 p.m. only sound on NBC4. You can watch old and brand new episodes of Days of Our Lives at the time most convenient for you on Peacock. Let's make the transition together. We want you to come with us and continue our special journey. As with any change, there's been a little hesitancy from our Loyal Days viewers. Soap fans have always been passionate about their soaps and loyal to a particular soap. Dr. Robin Warhol is a distinguished professor of English at The Ohio State University who studies television narrative and women writers, among other topics. Uh, and NBC is taking this very experimental step that yes, I think will break the hearts of soap fans who can't um, follow the series onto Peacock, um, but will certainly be gratifying to those who can. Recent industry data shows 85% of U.S. households have at least one video streaming subscription. And Mark Lazarus, chairman of NBC Universal Television and Streaming, said Peacock is where a large percentage of the day's audience is already watching because that is the most convenient for the target demographic of women ages 18 to 49. And the assumption is those are women who stay home with their kids, who stay home to take care of the home um, rather than working outside the home, and that that is the of course, that's a demographic that has been declining in numbers very dramatically since the 50s and 60s. Those same years coincide with the peak of soap opera or serial viewership in the United States, which has a rich history dating back far before over-the-air broadcast in Victorian serial novels, before transitioning into radio and then eventually TV for women. The soap operas that were written for the radio serials were written usually by women. Uh, and so were the showrunners of the most of the most important TV soap operas were women. And it was one of the few places in television in those eras where we're women really important. could have some kind of Mira's dominance and influence over what was being broadcast. The price carvers. If you need help getting Peacock set up or have any questions about this transition, there is a Days of Our Lives customer hotline. It's on the bottom of your screen right now. Toll free 855 597-1827. Oh, I yeah. bet that thing's getting lit up. Yeah. I mean, so we've gotten calls already, of course. We have. You know, this was a decision from the network. Yes. Luckily, they have been minimal, though. Yes. And like we yeah. said, the majority of the day's viewers are on Peacock already, which is really good. I'm one of them. Yes. Because same. I'm going to miss my daytime. So. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. <laughs>